What's up everybody? Good morning. It's your boy The Legend coming at you from something a little bit different today. We're at the Artistra Gardens in Nassau in the Bahamas. We got Molly with me, of course. We were on another cruise and uh, we decided to do a little, something different this time when we were in Nassau. So we went over to the Artistra Gardens, which is a, a small zoo-like area. And uh, got a, a $15 cab ride from the port. And it's definitely, uh, you know, something different. We're going to show you guys around, share our thoughts, show you what's cool, show you what's weird. And uh, we just walked in. Weird that uh, the birds are not caged in. No, you can walk right up to the bird. Oh shit! I think we pissed him off. Uh oh. He does not like the camera. I don't think so. He's camera shy. Anyway, we don't want to piss off the birds or anything else here, but uh, we're going to show you around what is a kind of a neat place. I mean, we'll leave this bird alone. So, so this monkey here is one of my favorites. He is um, reaching through the fence with his little monkey hands to eat this um, this plant thing. That knee's really, really fluffy. Look, monkey hands through the fence. Monkey fingers. Mm -hmm. You won't get that at the San Diego Zoo. He's so cute. Over here, Molly's making friends with this pretty parrot. Pretty bird. I like, he climbs the walls like Spider-Man. Kinda like, looks like Spider-Man, except mm -hmm. purple instead of blue. Go Spider-Man bird! And he's wandering away. So now we're here at the squirrel habitat. And I saw this on the map on the website, I'm like, squirrels? This is gonna be the stupidest zoo ever, but it turns out it's some sort of large, freaky, bug-eyed squirrel. An Asia squirrel. I didn't yep. know squirrels lived in Asia. Neither did I. But they do, and they're, they're bigger and different color. Look how cool you are. Wee! Up he's coming back to visit. So it's interesting because mostly animals here could stick their little animal paws right through the fence. So this is really cool. I'm currently feeding this bird. Look. <laughs> Really neat. Actually, and this didn't cost extra too. A lot of zoos will charge extra for this, this included with the price. And I got to feed that bird. I'm going to try to feed this bird. Good bird. Ah. Uh oh. You got to make them work. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh my. There are a lot of birds. You want to feed them on top of the bird? You really want them to come there? Oh, oh. Yeah. Hey, you steal her! Look at how cool this is. <laughs> Hi, birds. <gasps> Molly's making a bird friend. That's cool. Look at how neat that is. Hi, hey, Molly's bird friend. Do you want to come together for a photo? You're so cool. Look at this. I'm holding a bird. You do want to come together. Feeding this bird. Feeding this bird. Bird in my hand. So cool. You dropped that giant piece. He probably did. But he's had plenty of apples. Isn't that right, bird? Bark, bark, bark. Birds don't bark. They do not. They squeak. What if this bird hates the tiki room as much as I do? So, um, just wandering around on the pathways here is a whole bunch of flamingos. Yet there's some page caged up there too. Yeah, the flamingos are outside and there's flamingos inside. It seems, it seems weird, right? I don't, like you. I don't think they like me very much. I like how they all sort of follow each other in a big group of flamingos. I don't want to be the only flamingo. I would assume not. Let's do a sad dance party. He's eating grass with his funny beak. And there's just flamingos wandering around. This exhibit here, adorable baby pigs. Look at him, he's like babe. And he's tiny. And he's got a friend. Where does friend go? Right over here. Right over there. There he is. Oh, this is so cute. I want a pig. Can we have a pig? Uh, I don't think so. But that one's <laughs> tail is wagging, so I'm guessing he's very happy if they're like dogs. 
they're making pig noises. I will say this area, it's, it's very unique and kind of different, but uh, it, it's not without its charm. Like There's parts of the zoo and gardens here that are really, really pretty, like this. It's really neat. And there's different pathways. Like yeah, there's that. a whole bunch of like, you get this giant crazy tree that looks like it's going to come to life. And you could wander around pathways. And oh my god, it's a capybara! Capybaras are some of the coolest animals ever. They're like giant guinea pigs. Look at him. Look how cool you are. Come on. Look at it. it, it it's just so neat. I always had a feeling that these animals were really smart because they, they, they just look smart to me. Yeah, they do nothing except dig. Mm -hmm. This guy stands in the shade and twitches his nose. <laughs> well, this would go down as the uh, least interesting animal, the North American raccoon. If you live in North America like we do, well, you see these just about every day. Now, they do have adorable little faces, but they're, uh, they're raccoons. But I guess we're, we're in a different country, so while we might see a raccoon every day to somebody that doesn't live in, you know, the United States or North America, things like that, you know, it could be pretty interesting. I guess. They're, they are kind of cool animals. Except this one's sleepy. Yeah, this guy is sleepy. But if you don't know what a raccoon looks like, that's what a raccoon looks like. <laughs> and if you don't know what a raccoon looks like, probably hit yourself in the face with a tack hammer. So they have, they have a show here where um, these flamingos kind of wander around this this circle here. And that's all they do. They, they walk for a bit and then they stop and everybody claps. And that's been the show. We've been sitting here for about 10 minutes and that's all that's happened. They stop on command though. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the flamingo show. Yeah. You know what a cute bunny? It's this little guy here. Oh, I think it's scared. Hi. This place definitely has some weird pathways, like this little narrow path next to a river and a, a bridge to go to the back of this building, or we'll follow it more down that way. Definitely a, a interesting uh, layout. Yeah. Hey Molly, want to go to the secret garden? Of course. Now, it's a secret. I, yeah, because all secret gardens have a sign that says, hey, go to the secret garden, which is um, over here. Now, when I've been walking around here, I've always been afraid that like some snake or something like that, or some wacky animal that's escaped its enclosure, is going to come out, bite me, and give me a terrible disease of some type. And uh, here we are in the secret garden. A lot of Se spider webs. Yeah, secret garden is home to a fair share of spiders. Yeah. In this weird old clam fountain. But my favorite part of the secret garden is this guy over here, this uh, creepy statue of death. Like, this looks like something straight out of a horror movie. Could we, could we get out of the secret garden now? One of the cooler animals here, or Ed Zoo's anywhere, is these uh, ring tailed lemurs. Of course, uh, King Julian from the Madagascar movies comes to mind. But they're, they're really, really cool. Look at them. Yeah, lemurs. Awesome little animals. And they actually have a pretty decent sized enclosure here too. But I noticed a lot of the animals, I was, I was worried when I would come into something like this, there would be a lot of really small enclosures, but they, they might not be the nicest enclosures, but a lot of these animals have a lot of room, <laughs> which is really kind of nice. Like this lemur here. He gets to walk down, he's got a, a lemur bunk, trees to play in, a clubhouse, a couple of logs. So not a, not a bad life a lot of these animals have. Lemurs. This guy is one of the coolest types of animals here. It's a, a monkey with this cool kind of like mutton chop mustachey look. And he's really, really cute. Molly, what kind of animal is this? A gibbon. A gibbon or a gian or something like that. But they're really cool. It's such a, I'm, I'm not even sure if I've ever seen this type of primate before. But he's adorable and fun looking. And he's right next to these other guys who will show you on our next clip. Do some really cool stuff. Well, that'll do it for our little afternoon here at the Artistry Gardens. And uh, what do you, how long do we spend here, Molly? About two hours, hour and a half? Yeah, about an hour and a half. I about would an say. hour and a half. Um, I quite enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I thought it was something different. 
uh, give something to do instead of drinking our faces off on the ship. So that was uh, that was nice. So I enjoyed it. I would give it a thumbs up. You know, not not some of the zoos you'll see. You know, it's not the Bronx Zoo. It's not the San Diego Zoo or you know Bush Gardens or something like that. But it's cool. It has a certain charm to it. Uh, wandering around. It's also when we're here right now. It's not very busy, so it's very very peaceful to wander around. And it's really just you and the animals. So I really enjoyed that. And uh, I'll give it a thumbs up. Would I come back? I don't know. You know, it's the kind of thing you've seen it once. So you you got to want to keep exploring and doing different things. Like next time I think we're going to go to a distillery or something like that when we're here in Nassau. But if you cruise a lot, you'll probably end up in Nassau a lot. And I would definitely uh, recommend this as an option as we wander through some uh, some trees here. Mom, what were your thoughts? Good. <laughs> I think a spider. I went through a spider web, but All it right. was really nice. It was very peaceful, something different. Mm -hmm. um, especially going to Nassau for our, what, fourth, fifth time? Yeah. Something like that. I, I might even be there six. Yeah. But it was definitely something different. Um, good for kids and family. Yeah. So some think, neat animals too. Yeah. Not everything that you see. And my favorite part. Oh man, this was great. Is they charge just for tourist adults. Yes. Two, two tourist adults. In case you can't tell that we look like tourists. Two tourist adults. Oh, there's your price point. Eighteen dollars. You get a handwritten receipt. <laughs> that was great. Two tourists at all. I mean, I guess this kind of says tourist in my big goofy hat and things like that. But uh, I enjoyed it. I would, I would give it a thumbs up if you like animals and you want something a little bit different to do. Of course, uh, Atlantis is here in Nassau as well. If you like animals, that would be your first stop because their aquariums are some of the best in the world. So that would be what I would recommend if you want an animal thing. But if you've been in Nassau a couple times and you're looking for something a little bit different, I'd recommend it. It's cool. Very laid back. You get to get up close with some animals, some neat... And uh, it's very unique, very different from what you'll find in an American Zoo. So I give it a thumbs up, not a big giant thumbs up, but it was a cool place to spend a couple hours when you're in port. Very different. All right, we want to thank you for watching as always. Um, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe because we post videos all over the world showing off anything and anything that's cool, tourist related, lots of theme park stuff, mostly theme park stuff. But we, we're trying to uh, you know, branch out and show you anything that we find is uh, on this great world that there is to explore. We want to bring it to you guys. All right, well, thanks for watching this legend, and I'll. Uh, See you guys next time.